Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Amalgamash, and this is Quietus. This is version 0.2. It is subtitled Psychobiography. This game was created in Smile Game Builder by Companion Wolf. Currently, this is a very, very limited release. There will be very little to show off, but I'm going to do my best to show you what there is. Companion Wolf has worked quite a bit on some menu systems for this game. This is a this is a very, very pre-alpha. So we're just going to do a little bit of hyping up here, and I'm just going to do a standard taking a look around. I really like the map extending beyond the borders of the house. Kind of uh, customizes what he would like you to see, and thinking that I can't search for anything. But I will go ahead and show you the menu without further ado. It's pretty wicked. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that this is not a default menu. This is entirely evented uh, using SGB's event panel system. So this is the sort of thing that you can do with the event system if you want to make your own menu. Let's see, what kind of stuff can we look at? We Every submenu has been made uh, painstakingly as well. All of these things are going to be tied to variables that are not in the standard Smile Game Builder's collection of, of stats for the player, for the player characters. Strength, confidence, and intelligence, ingenuity, honesty. That's very interesting. Like you have standard stats there, but then you've got something like honesty, which looks like it can go up and down over time. Perhaps it's a bit like Fable. I'm sure that there are a lot of uh, a lot of old school games that have probably inspired this more than the ones that I'm picking up on, because I know that this sort of thinking in, in game development has uh, been around for a while and has been the inspiration for a lot of the games that we've played. And sadly, I'm not going to know what a lot of them are, <laughs> but if I ever find out what they are, I'm, I'm going to do my best to hunt them down and play them. Uh, but something like honesty there, that's interesting. And that to me does remind me, of, it reminds me of Fable a lot because in Fable you can go between you know good and evil throughout the course of the game and you can make yourself incredibly evil or you can make yourself incredibly pious and holy or you can be middle of the road or lean one way or the other really a skills programming academic stealth lockpicking a skill system i'd be very interested to see this sort of thing shared that that is awesome we we all want skill systems for sure well, those of us who are looking to make the uh, the more open world type larger projects, I'd love something like this myself. Habits, this gets interesting. Also, before I move on, skills, programming 35, academics 35, are these things that will only go up? And since they're, they're already as meticulous as having a number assigned to them, like 13, what are they? Are they going to be roles, checks against against little things that happen throughout the game, like if your stealth isn't above 15, you won't be able to pass this corridor without being spotted. Habits. Smoking, non-smoker, alcohol, non-drinker, drugs, non-addict, addiction, 0%. That is a clue for you if if you haven't guessed by now that it's this is going to be for mature audiences. Although uh, Mr. Wolf did tell me that this section here is only going to be visible if you toggle a setting that allows you to see the mature content in the game. So something else that's really interesting and something that I think definitely takes a lot of work to be able to go through and make sure that only certain things are visible if you have a switch turned on. Um, I mean, that's, that's just normal development for anybody who uses SGB, but for you to take that setting and have it apply to basically the entire game and have situations in the game that just are not going to be visible to the player at all, whether they're events or, or certain strings of dialogue or stats like this on a stat screen. And since we have four stats here, those are things that probably aren't even going to come into play if you don't have the mature filter toggled on. Personal, four foot six height, weight 100 pounds, age 12, birthday 12 July, star sign, religion, morality. All of this is really interesting to me. The age is probably going to progress as you play. It might jump depending on story points. Are you going to be able to affect your weight? Are you going to be able to affect your height up to a certain point? Maybe early on in the game, if you eat well, you'll grow really tall. That's cool. Will you be able to choose your religion? Will you be able to kind of condemn yourself? More, more fable 
influences for me. Uh, inventory. Whoops. We have to go back a screen. Inventory. Not implemented in version 0.2. I can see my character moving around in the background. It's perfectly fine. That is going to be cool when that it's implemented. Grid system, you don't see that very often. Codex, gallery. Galleries are always interesting to me. Trophies, interesting. Game stats, settings. Here you go. And it looks like, it looks like it's not properly imp implemented right now. And it says under consideration and review here at the bottom, but like your game difficulty and puzzle difficulty. Bravo. That's a good idea. Having two separate difficulties for your game so that the general difficulty overall and the puzzle difficulty are not tied to one another. That's pretty cool. Um, tutorials on mature content on VA content off. Another thing that's going to be a lot of work. I don't envy you all this work at all, but that's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great as this continues to grow. Music, sounds, and voice. Looks like Companion Wolf wants you to be able to control the volume of the voice, which is definitely doable. That's great. Help. Help is not implemented. Just don't help. Don't help at all. Close. And that's it. We have walked outside. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect to just be able to go into the void. But you know what? I embrace the void, so... Prior works by Companion Wolf, all I've played on the channel include Other World Through the Veil, Enigma of the Wolf, and the uh, Halloween Pumpkin Hunt short demo. So those are all things that I've, I've played, and they're all things that you can find by going to the RPG Maker Times or SGP Athenium website, always linked in the descriptions below for you SGP enthusiasts. Thank you very much for watching, look forward to this one. I know that I am, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.